Hi, I'm Bob Dines with Artemis Gallery. I started this obsession with ancient art about 27 years ago after my wife and I honeymooned in Greece and Turkey. And uh, like many tourists uh, that visit that area, we went to all the museums that we could and we saw the most exquisite examples of ancient art from the entire Mediterranean area and uh, came back from the honeymoon and found a gallery in New York where you could actually buy this. I bought one little piece and I got hooked. There are a couple of areas in our life that my wife and I are very passionate about. One of them, uh, ancient art, of course. The other is our animals. Uh, Teresa and I have six dogs, four cats. Yes, we're a little insane. Um, don't know how uh, we got up to six, but we have six dogs and they are part of our life and their family. So one of the things that I find very fascinating about ancient art is how the ancient artisans have incorporated the use of animals into their art. And one of the really neat things about it, you'll find animals represented in ancient art from virtually every culture, every continent, every time period throughout the world. So you'll find animals uh, in 10,000 BC art, you'll find it in art that stretches to today. So we're going to go over a few of my favorite pieces of uh, ancient art that have incorporated the use of animals. So we're going to start kind of chronologically. We'll start at uh, the earliest that we've got here. The first piece I'm going to talk about is uh, from the Indus Valley of Pakistan. This dates to almost 3000 BC. So here is a gorgeous pottery uh, votive bull. Um, the, the very interesting thing about this one is how well it is preserved. And if you know anything about Indus pottery, um, most of us are aware that you should be skeptical because there are a number of fakes. Uh, there's a number of pieces that are pastiches or taking piece from one uh, vessel and incorporating it into another. This example is intact and it has been TL'd because being the skeptic, we wanted to make sure it was ancient. So wonderful votive bull, big horns, big dewlap, just a great uh, example of art incorporating animals from 5,000 years ago. So moving uh, into the Greek world, uh, the Greeks began using animals in ancient art, at least from the Minoan times. So uh, not quite that early, but this is an example from the Greek geometric period. So 750 BC, give or take. This is a bronze pendant in the form of an animal head on one side, a bird head on the other, and uh, just a very early wonderful example of ancient bronze work incorporating animals into uh, early bronze work. Um, Another neat thing about the Greeks, uh, the Greeks, the, the symbol for Athens is Athena, of course, and the owl. And Greek colonists uh, moved into southern Italy in the 450 BC era. And to show their allegiance to the Greek uh, Athenian home state, they would incorporate the use of owls in, into their vessels. So here's a wonderful little kylex with a little owl on both sides. And it just showed that they missed their homeland. They were uh, allegiant to their homeland, but just cute owls. So this is kind of a rare example. Most of us are, are familiar with the owl skifoi that uh, you see somewhat commonly. But here's a miniature example and just kind of a neat piece. Um, turning our attention to the Roman world, the Romans did incredible bronze work incorporating uh, animals into their art. So um, first piece here, this is a Roman bronze eagle, and the eagle was a representation of the military might of the Roman Empire. But if you can look at the details of this, how the feathers were uh, worked to show each of the details, the tail feathers, the wing feathers, I mean, just incredible workmanship. So wonderful little bird, um, actually not so little in bronze. And then also um, the horse. The horse was also very important to uh, the Roman Empire. It helped in their expansion. It helped in their war efforts. Uh, a stunning bronze oil lamp. 
and it incorporates the use of a head as part of the handle, wonderful mane, details of the face, gorgeous patina, just an incredible example of a Roman uh, oil lamp, much larger than normal, just one of my favorite examples of both Roman bronze work and how they incorporated the animal into it. So moving across the ocean to the New World, um, almost all of the pre-Columbian cultures also incorporated or used animals in their art. So you'll find in the uh, South uh, American cultures like the Moche, you'll find llamas and jaguars and birds and, and animals you can't even recognize. Um, a little further north up in Colima, Mexico, here is a really exquisite example, somewhat rare, of a deer head. And so this is a pouring vessel that uh, is in the form of a deer head, short little antlers, the ears, the eyes, the nice little mouth, wonderful kind of red-brown slip, just a really exquisite example of how uh, animals were used in, uh, in this case, Kalima. But throughout all of uh, the uh, Americas in pre-Columbian art. And then finally, moving a little more recently, um, this is from India. This is a, a little uh, votive that is a combination of animal elements, Ganesh, and human elements. So we've got a four-handed uh, human with the head of the elephant, the trunk, the tusk, wonderful bronze work. This dates from about the 19th century. But animals have transcended all of these cultures, all of these time periods, and they're, they're all done differently, but they all show such a wonderful sensitivity to animals in nature. So if you have an opportunity, and you haven't already, and you're passionate about animals like we are, I highly recommend putting some animals into your collection. They really add a lot, and they certainly have to ours. Bob Dodge, Artemis Gallery, thanks for watching.